Today on Undercover Boss, Darren Peterson, CEO of the biggest dot-com empire in the world, poses as a reality contestant competing for a job within his own company. Darren is stepping off his private yacht and into the office where it all began. He'll take off his sunglasses and trade in his bathing suit for a shirt and tie as he goes undercover with the employees who make it all happen. I'm Darren Peterson. I'm the CEO of DotCom. What determines the outcome of our activities in life are our attitude. How you navigate yourself and the things that you do in each day has an impact on your own life and the lives of others. I know what it's like to have the world coming down on you. At the end of the day, are you still grateful for opportunity for the life that you have? Darren's first day is underway as he steps back into the office where it all started. Hi, are you Jesus? I am. You must be Carl. I am. It's a pleasure to meet it's you. pleasure to meet you. So what do we have going on here? Well, Carl, this is the place someone wants to be. Uh, basically what we do is we take all the numbers and expenses of dot coms and we make sure that they match up with our clients. Uh, just last year alone, just to give you an idea, we had over 100,000 clients. So a lot of numbers, a lot of expenses, and we have to make sure that those are all accurate. So I hope you like math. Okay, Carl, so you're going to scroll down. Okay, look at that total there. Then we're going to compare our numbers with theirs. So highlight that. Okay, now go ahead and paste it in the next column. Uh, all right, you just deleted it. No, uh -oh, is that bad? Yeah, it's about a day's work. So how long have you worked here? Oh, eight years now. Wow, that's a long time. How did you get into it? Uh, well, I was in college. I, uh, I played baseball at the University of Texas. I don't know if you're familiar, but yeah. Um, yeah, so one day uh, after baseball practice, I received a phone call from uh, one of my younger sisters. Uh, it was a pretty unfortunate phone call, actually, letting me know that our parents passed away in a car accident. So I immediately, obviously, had to drop everything I was doing and fly back to Detroit. I had to leave my baseball uh, career uh, alone. I had to put my education to the side. And um, I have three younger sisters, and I'm the oldest of four total. So uh, my parents didn't make very much money, and there wasn't uh, in much insurance money left over. So I had to provide for, for all of us. So I immediately got a job, and um, here I am today. It really must have been hard. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. Um, but it really opens up your eyes, you know, to appreciate what you do have opposed to what you don't have. Um, you know, I'm always thanking God every day, thanking God for the opportunity to breathe, for the opportunity to have a job, to make money, to provide for my younger sisters. I'm just extremely grateful that they have somebody to provide for them. And I'm very grateful to be in that position. I give thanks to God every day, you know, every day. Psalm 9-1, you know, give thanks to the Lord with all your heart. Jesus opened my eyes today. He sacrificed so much for his sisters, and he takes pride in taking care of them. He's an inspiration. I'm ashamed. All we have, all I do, it means nothing. I want to do more for others. Day two has arrived as Darren steps back into the office for another okay, day that of sounds hard great. Thank work. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hello. Hi there. I'm Carl. I'm here for the training. Carl, hi. I'm Lori. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, likewise. Well, you know what? We have a ton of stuff today. It's been kind of crazy here. So you know what? Let's just get to it. Follow me. Okay, cool. Sounds great. So what we actually have to do is we have to make copies for all the attending the dot com meetings as well as for dot coms records and our representatives. So you just make copies. I also schedule meetings, order supplies to do all the catering, to refill, papers, supplies, all that. And also I need to answer the phone. So actually, Carl, here's a list of all the copies for each meeting. All you have to do is press start. Do you think you can handle that? I'll be back to check on you. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, how do I make it stop? A little help? How's it going, Carl? What happened? 
happened? Uh, I'm really not sure. It just stopped working. Maybe it's out of paper. I don't think so. Uh, or maybe did you open the door? I did open the door, actually. Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, why don't you go ahead and answer the phone and I'll finish up here. You think you can handle that? I'll give it a try. Okay, great. Thanks, Carl. So what'd you think, Carl? I think this is hard work. Yeah, it's tough sometimes, but actually I really like the job. It allows me to get out. I work with some really great people and it pays really well. So it allows me to provide for my family at home. Oh, you have children? Yeah, I'm a single mom. I have two little ones at home. And um, well, what happened to their father, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, I, I don't mind. Um, one day he wasn't feeling good, so we took him to the hospital and, well, they diagnosed him with cancer, so three months later, he had passed. Wow, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. You know, um, sometimes times are really tough, hard. There are days I wake up and I don't want to get out of bed, but I'm grateful that I have my life. I'm happy that I can get up every morning and see their smiling faces. I'm just grateful and thankful and, you know, I definitely rely on God quite a bit when times are kind of hard and my days aren't going so well. But, you know, I have two pretty ones at home, so I gotta stay strong for them. Absolutely. Yeah. When Lori told me the story about losing her husband and raising her children on her own, it was devastating. And yet she was positive and upbeat the entire time. She greeted me with a smile. She's just an amazing woman, and I really hope and I, I pray that she's rewarded for that. Welcome back to Undercover Boss. These employees have no idea who's about to walk into the room. They think they're there to make a decision as to who will get the job between our two reality contestants. But little do they know what is in store. Not exactly. You, uh... I'm Darren Peterson, CEO of .com. Oh my gosh! Hi! How are you? Uh, confused? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, what's going on? When I heard your story, I immediately reflected back to the first moments I met you. Your positive energy, your positive attitude, and I just, I thought to myself, it's amazing that a woman could go through so much loss and suffering and still rally to raise her children and to be here in our workplace and to be so efficient and so resilient and positive every day. And because of that, Lori, I want to offer you $100,000 for yourself and for the future of your children. But I also want to offer you a two-week vacation. Anywhere you'd like to go, we're going to cover it for you because you deserve it. We are very proud of you, Lori. You're an amazing woman and we want to reward you for that. Are you serious right now? I'm totally serious. Is that something? Oh my that... gosh, this is ridiculous. Thank you so much. You deserve it. You deserve it. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Thanks. Darren Peterson, aren't you? That's right, Jesus. That's who I am. <laughs> oh, man. Surprise? Yeah, very. Well, I came in today because I wanted to talk to you about the story you told me about your family. You know, it really it broke my heart to hear of the, the sacrifice that you've endured, the burden that you've taken on. Um, it touched me in a way that I wasn't expecting. Um, beyond that, your, your, your attitude, your, your appreciation, and your praise for life there's um, something that I find extraordinary, truly remarkable. Uh, because of that, I would like 
I'd like to offer you $100,000 to pay for college for yourself and for your sisters. And I was just hoping that it would be something you'd be willing to accept. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. words can't describe it. Um, to receive such an amazing award just for for being positive, for living life how you should, for praising God. It's an amazing feeling. I'm very grateful. Very grateful. <laughs>